Hello everyone. Uh, just got done putting on the uh, Y-axis cross member on the gantry risers. Try and give you a quick update on how I proceeded to do this. Basically I brought in the aluminum extrusion and laid it down in front of the risers. And then I measured the distance from this end to the other end which is 58 inches the distance uh, or the length of this extrusion is 60 and a half so the distance in is inch and a quarter uh, I then measured and put a scribe mark on both sides give me an idea of how to line it up um, I then basically slid in the back bolts that hold this all together um, and slid them over to the side along with one for the bottom that goes uh, on the bottom there and then basically I lifted it up and turned it so that it's sitting on the gantry risers, the bolt sticking out the back. I took one of these clamps here and just clamped one end. And then I proceeded at the other side. What I did was basically push this riser plate back, left, leaving this still sitting on the bottom just a little bit, but enough to get the bolts in. And then uh, basically I just uh, aligned up all the bolts and then slid the riser forward until the bolts went through. And then uh, <clears throat> I put a couple of nuts on to hold it in temporary place. And then I proceeded to do the same on this side. Push the gantry riser back a little bit while it's still sitting on here. And then uh, attached the, I uh, got the bolts fed through. And then from there uh, I went ahead and tightened them up. And then I pushed the whole gantry essentially back. Uh, it was a little bit uh, out of square, but I went ahead and pushed it all the way back and I worked my way forward and tightened all the bolts the rails up on this side. So this side is completely secure. Uh, the other side I still have yet to finish tightening up. I wanted to get the squareness of the gantry aligned, so I, I pulled everything forward and this side was nesting up against the stops this side was retracted a little bit which meant that the gantry risers are actually a little crooked after they're tightened up in the back uh, so to alleviate that what I did was I undid all the bolts on the riser to the extended carriages so that they were all loose and then I try to tweak this uh, to square it up a little bit Basically what I ended up doing was with the bolts loose, I used this piece of wood and I just by hand got in there and used it kind of like a pry bar and that uh, gave me a little bit of a twist uh, to get this squared up and then I tightened up a couple of bolts. You see the center ones are still loose. Uh, and then I did the same thing with this end until basically everything is resting fairly tight. When I push the gantry back and pull it forward now they both come to the stops fairly square now that's taking into consideration that my base is 100 percent square which i don't know for a fact until after i get this assembled and uh and actually get a cut to measure squareness of cut but it uh, appears that's what you basically have to do and what you'll do is uh, in this particular case i use the clamps to hold the extended barrages, uh, scare, uh, excuse me, extended carriages snug up against the rail. While I did this, you want it away from the gantry riser so that you can get it to twist on here. There's just enough room in the slots to allow you to do that. Um, so all in all, right now, I've got the uh, y-axis on. I just have to finish um, tightening up the rest of the bolts to the risers, and then. Uh, what I'll do is I'll push the gantry back, and as I go, a little at a time, I'll start tightening up these bolts as I go back. But other than that, it uh, runs pretty smoothly just by pushing it by hand. And again, uh, I'll probably have to play with the tensioning on the, the bearings on the bottom. So all in all, that's gone pretty good. For anyone that's uh, considering buying and assembling this kit, just to let you know, that up to this point I have done this completely by myself with no physical assistance from anybody else 
So it is doable for an individual on their own. Uh, my suggestion is to just kind of have a game plan on how you're going to assemble everything um, and take your time. And just go slow. Uh, there's no real rush to do this, at least not for me. So uh, that and the other thing I wanted to point out is, is I have about only 25% of my rotator cuff of my left arm left so I really can't raise my left arm very much unless I position it with my right one so uh, it's been an interesting uh, experience with everything that I have to do but uh, with a slight handicap and doing this all on your own um, so far it's been pretty successful at assembling this uh, this kit so far so thanks for watching uh, next I'll get this uh, all tighten up and then I'll start working on the uh, uh, I believe the z-axis uh, plate that I, or no I got to put the uh, steel rails on next I'll be putting this cleaning up and just putting on the steel rails next along with the uh, spacers in between to get them all squared up so that'll be the, the next video that I'll go on to the uh, z-axis plate thanks for watching